Aha. Ladies and gentlemen of the interweb, feast your eyes on this box that I received from, yes, you guessed it correctly, Viewer Bill. Viewer Bill has taken the time, courtesy, and overall good faith to others and generously sent me another box. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up. If you guys are interested, however, in sending anything that you'd like to see me open up on camera, whether it be letters, whether it be pictures, if you want to draw something, if you would even like to write me a poem. Bill, though, has sent a substantially large box, and I can't imagine it's containing poems, poetry, although maybe he has written a book on poetry. I shouldn't have even ruled out the possibility that it is poetry, but we're going to find out what's inside. I'm going to grab myself Old Red here, and we're going to get the box cut open. And again, I'll put the information down below, so if you yourself are thinking, geez, I'd like to send this guy something, something for him to open up on camera. Whereabouts can I send that? Well, I'm glad you add, asked Roderick. The information will be down below. Make sure as well you write on the box, viewer, so that I know it's from, yeah, it's from a viewer. And I don't know, it's just from something else. Maybe I ordered something from Amazon, for example. Uh, in common uh, practice, consistent practice, Bill has taken the time and drawn this fantastic looking image. Now, I'm going to guess... It is possibly George, because I'm seeing one thing in here that's alluding me to think that it might be George from Rampage, mixed with the Cape Crusader, giving us fantastically awesome results. He's even signed it, WH2018. Let's have a gander inside and see what else. George from Rampage has Batman. We're, we're on the same wavelength here. Hey Spot, contents of this supply crate mostly came from Walmart. I was surprised at how much they have in stock. As always, enjoy from Viewer Bill. Thank you very much, sir. I will add that to my pile of your uh, pictures. I really do want to put them into like a scrapbook. I need to invest in a good scrapbook. Uh, so let's see what we got inside here. For starters, we have Legends of the Dark Knight. This is premium collector series Batgirl with night scan wings and Batarang. What does night scan wings mean? Does it scan the night? Does it? Oh, Joker's over there. Thanks, night scan wings. And she also comes with a Batarang. A neat looking figure though. I've seen this figure before, never picked it up. What are the other figures in this lineup? Well, we've got the Laughing Gas Joker. That was a neat looking figure. Uh, we've also got Bat Attack Batman. Glacier Shield Batman. So, of course, he's going to be all clad in white. Uh, Jungle Rage Robin. Panther Prowl Catwoman. Okay. Man Bat. Penguin. And Lava Fury Batman. Does that mean he shoots lava? It also looks like he's got himself a giant electric guitar. Looks like he should be from Kiss. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much, Bill. I don't, like I said, I never, I probably had saw this a couple of times in, you know, those, not those large comic book stores. Does anybody, you know what I'm talking about? Like those little dungeon sort of comic book stores where you walk in and it's like literally this wide and you're just kind of walking down the hallway and at the end there's a little guy, not a little guy, but there's a guy in a desk, a little, you know, checkout area it's just this little small room and you usually see like trinkets like this hanging on the wall it's those comic book stores that i like to check out not always those big corporate does it make sense corporate comic book stores i like those smaller little comic book stores those kind of little dwellings that hang out in like strip plazas that's for me moving along we also have some dc superheroes five star figures this so happens to be Harley Quinn. Comes with a, it looks like a picture of the Joker, Cap Gun, and also Mallet. I don't know how he manages to find all these things. I, I've seen five star figures in stores. I haven't yet found the horror figures, which is why I had to order them online. And as for the DC variety, I haven't seen those either. The only thing I've seen in stores are the Fortnite five stars. So I don't know how he's managing to find these, but thank you very much, sir. We've got Harley Quinn. Oh, we do have a Joker. That's neat. That's neat. Of course, as I can possibly promise, one 
I don't want to say 100%, but I certainly am making efforts to get through all the stuff that Bill has taken the time and sent my way. So I want to get through and review these ones as well. Certainly while they're still out there, we have Joker, comes with a little stick of dynamite with his face on it. That's sort of eliminating that, gee, I wonder who left this bomb here. Oh, right, it's got Joker's face on it. A little cane and a, uh, a little cap gun, a little flag gun that says bang. Pretty cool. I like the look of Joker there. You know, since I've looked at the horse five stars, I think my interest in them have increased a little bit. They weren't there before, but it's growing. Next we have ugh, Batman. Comes with a Batarang and also comes with the, the bat signal. A little smaller bat signal. Not a bad Batman, really, all things considered. So the only ones I still need to pick up, if I can find them, Poison Ivy and Batgirl. Speaking of Batgirl, I just so happened to see this inside the packaging as well. This is the Batman Missions Taller Scale. Uh, they call them True Moves. I don't know what True Moves mean. Does it just mean that she has posability in her legs? Yeah, it looks like it looks like she's dancing here, but it looks like there is posability in her legs where the smaller scale figures do, don't have that. There's also a Joker. There's also a Batman. But I asked the question, why do we have to wait to get larger scale figures? As good as these are, I mean, that's a good looking Batgirl, but why do we always have to wait to get the larger scale figures that have more posability to them? Is it impossible for Mattel simply just to give that same posability on a smaller scale figure? I mean, you're, I don't know. I mean, I, that one looks cool. I really do like the look of this one. Again, I haven't seen it in any stores whatsoever. And last but certainly not least, Going back to the Rampage thing, we have a Rampage, I guess it's a Walmart exclusive. This is a Rampage 8-bit pop. And Bill must have known my fascination with the uh, the new 8-bit pops. Not relatively new, but looked at a couple of 8-bit pops, and I'm really digging those. Which I find strange to say that, because I'm not normally a big fan of pop vinyl figures. And yet, there's something about the pixelized look of all of these characters that gravitate me towards it, like flies to stuff, you know, you know, stuff. I'm gravitating, I'm hovering around these, and I'm thinking to myself, I really am digging these 8-bit renditions. I also like the fact that they use, like, old-school art up at the top there. It's a three-pack, and like I said, it's only available to Walmart. I don't even know how he was managed to eight, uh, capable of finding these. But again, a big thank you, Mr. Bill. That's not his name, I'm just... Viewer Bill was very nice, like I said, to send all this stuff my way. Let's kind of put them all out for presentation purposes. There we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Oh, I should run my own comic book store. Look at the way I could just lay stuff out. And of course, as well, along with that, it was nice enough to draw a image here of George along, well, George mixed with Batman to give us this really cool amalgamation of characters. Wow, Bill, thank you. Again, sir, you've outdone yourself. I say outdone yourself, but I mean, that would imply the stuff you've sent before was of a lesser variety, and you seem to outdo yourself consistently at the same level. Does that make any sense? Every single time you send stuff my way, and again, I thank you so wholeheartedly. I am a humbled man, and I do appreciate when people take the time to send stuff my way. I am not, I feel deserving of these things, but again, I thank you very, very much, sir for taking the time and sending it my way. If you guys want to send anything to this channel, I mean, not necessarily to the scope that Bill sends stuff at, but if you'd like to send letters, if you'd like to draw images, even if you'd like to draw my logo, I'd love to see how you guys handle the Review Spot logo, that new one I've got, not the 1200 that I used before. But the new logo, if you'd like to just draw that, send it my way. You can also send it to me on Facebook. I have Facebook and Twitter if you'd like to stay in contact with me over there as well. Certainly more videos also will be coming soon to this channel. So stay tuned for those as well. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, thank you to Bill for sending all this stuff my way. I'll see you guys next time.